Assalamu alaikum students, how are you? It's second lecture of maths for grade 3 and today our topic is comparing and ordering numbers. In this topic, by comparing the digits in a number, we arrange them accordingly. Now can you look at example over here, arrange 255, 552 and 252 in order, start with the greatest. So first we write these numbers in a place where you chart. Now it's over here. The number is 255, 552, 252. So we have to start with the greatest. So first just look at the digits in a pla uh, hundreds place. Which digit is greater over here? So over here in these three digits, 5 is greater. So it means 552 is the greatest number and we will write this number first. Now the rest of the two numbers, now compare them. Which number is greater? So the both are same. 2 and 2 they are same. So we will see the next number that is 10th place. Over here again the both numbers are same. The both digits in the 10th place they are same. So it means we will see the next number that is 1's place. So over here digit, digit 5 is greater than 2. So this number 255 is greater than 252. So it means the second greatest number is 255 so first we will write 552 the second number will be 255 and the third is 252 now look at example number two it's page it's on page number two over here again we have two numbers that is 2500 and 5800 so first we we'll compare the numbers in the thousand place over here five is greater than two so it means 5,800 5, is greater than 2,500 and even it's written over here 5,000 is greater than 2,000 so 5,800 is greater than 2,500 now let's start practice on page number 14 question number 1 is same like example number 1 so example number 1 example number 2 so try to attempt this question by yourself on book and now question number 3 so before starting this question, you have to first prepare this page for yourself. Now question number, well you have to write day like this, then mass online class, then date, draw margin lines properly, then give proper heading of the topic and underline the topic and then practice and underline practice as well, okay. Now question, arrange the numbers in order starting with the greatest. So part A is 2350. 5320 and 5023 so again first compare the thousands place the digits in the thousand place over here this 5 and 5 they are greater than 2 so we'll compare these two numbers so 5 and 5 so the thousand place is same over here so we'll see the next digit that is 100 place so over here this 3 is greater than 0 so it means this number 5000 320 is the greatest number so we will write this number first then the rest two numbers so over here 5 again the thousand compare the thousands place 5 is greater than 2 so it means 5023 is greater than 2350 so part a is done here for you guys so by following the same pattern please try to attempt the part b and question 4 by yourself and you have to prepare the page same like this okay so question number three and question number four is your home task and try to attend this question on a piece of paper and then submit this task in the school for the assessment mark okay the next topic is number patterns now what is number pattern pattern means a pattern is a set of numbers or figures that are arranged in a particular order and repeated over and over again now just look at over here, look at this example over here, what numbers these are, the number the number is first one, 177, 277, 377, 477, 5, so which digit is getting change over here, that see, once is same over here in all columns, this, then another, sorry, once place is same, tens place is same, it means 100 place is getting change over here, over here is 100, over here is 200. Over here is 3, here is 4, 5, 6, 7. So now what will be the next number? 877. So by observing the same pattern, you have to find out the next number. 
we have to first observe which place value is getting changed and where we have to write the next number okay now kindly come on page number 18 let's start practice question number 1 fill the missing numbers because part a is 1 more than 3675 one more than means we have to add this one with the mm, digit in ones column and that is 5 so we will add this one with 5 so 5 plus 1 we get 6 so the number will become after adding one is 3676 but you have to just add this one with that number so part a is done here for you guys now try to attempt the rest of the part by yourself now question 2 complete the number spectrum part a is 2668 2768 dash and 3 1168 first we observe which place value is getting change over here so let's see the digits in the ones column they all are same the digits in the tens column they are same see it's 6 6 6 they are same so the digit in the hundreds column they are getting change so if, now see its first one is 6 second one is 7 it's 8 it's 9 So the number is two thousand six hundred, two thousand seven hundred, two thousand eight hundred, two thousand nine hundred. So what comes after two thousand nine hundred? It's three thousand. So we will write three thousand and sixty-eight. The the digit in the ones column and in the tens column they will remain same. We will just change this hundreds column. Okay. So after nine hundred it become. Thousand, so it come. It's two thousand nine hundred. It's come three thousand. So by following the same pattern, we try part B and part C by yourself. Question now, question number three and question number four on page number fourteen, and question number one and question number two on page number eighteen is your home task, and you have to attend this question on a piece of paper, and please then submit these tasks in the school for the assessment marks. Now for for more practice. Kindly try to attempt worksheet in workbook page number nine and try question number one to question number seven on book. It's for your practice. It's enough for today. Wish you best of luck. Thank you.